what up YouTube check this out man this guy is so hard to control man like if if the battery goes below 12% or something like that this dog going thing go crazy man so I had it flying up in the air already I could not control it usually I can land it and land but I can't I couldn't do it that time because of uh, it just it's a safety feature, so we're checked in at the weekly. Let's go check out some of the some more of this uh, drone footage. doing out here in Vegas just taking a break it was Saturday night last night did not play did not feel like playing so I was just lazy it was too late and I was lazy tonight I'm thinking about going down that way somewhere down that way or maybe that direction we have no clue yet and it's late already. But we'll see. We'll see. Hey, welcome back, man. Welcome back. We are in Vegas. Played a, played a session. We just got done playing the session up there at MGM. Pretty good session, I gotta say. Pretty doggone good session. So there was quite a few uh, recreational players in there on the table tonight. And, uh... We did okay, you know, we uh, we were put in some tough spots and uh, I'm, I'm glad I uh, I made the moves that I did make, you know. So, let's go get started with these hands, right? So the first hand, we have King, Queen of Hearts and we are under the gun. So, we opened a bit and three callers, including the big blind. He started the hand of about 60, $60 stack, so um, the flop came nine ace nine diamond diamond it was checked to me i did a continuation bet of 16 dollars big blind calls and everybody else folds and the turn came a six six is non diamond six so i bet 25 he goes all in big blind goes all in for another an additional 19 more i don't think we could fold here you know so i made the call and he shows not he comes up with nine seven off so this next hand we got ace ten of hearts we were in the hijack and we call a $7 raise and there was five callers but there was no blind so pretty much a call ha happy type table so far you know it's tight and call happy and that's to include me so <laughs> I'm not excluding myself <laughs> anyway um, we get we take a flop of five king eight rainbow under the gun bets 15 original original re-raise to 30 and we fold I don't think I don't think we can do anything there so um, definitely not a good start to the vlog. Definitely not a good start. Next hand we look at Ace Ten of Diamonds. We opened it to twelve dollars from the button, and there was three callers behind. The flop came Ace Queen Three Club Club. It's checked to us. I bet 20 and ev all, everyone folds. So we get a little bit of that money back. So so this next hand, we look at King Jack a hard heart. For some reason, I'm getting a lot of suited connect uh, suited cards and they're not suited connectors but suited cards so we look at king jack of hearts and there was four limps and we open it to eight dollars and and there was three colors and the flop came h3 queen spade spade check to me i bet 10 everyone folds so this is how uh uh tough ta this table was really there was no action not a whole lot of action so So this next 
next hand we got a straddle on and somebody I cannot remember on which vlog it was somebody asked on the comment I I don't think I got a chance to reply I don't think so but somebody asked if I ever straddle I do every now and then and this is a hand that I straddled I straddled from under the gun that's the only way that you can straddle at the MGM is from under the gun so we straddled for five dollars from under the gun and it was one two three three callers and big blind makes it 15. I re-raised to 55 with pocket kings. It's pretty good, uh, pretty good spot to re-raise there. So, and we got a call from the mid position and the player next to him goes all in for 72 more. Big blind folds. My, my, my thought process here was that, okay, I need to get rid of anybody who has ace queen. Ace king has to call. I don't think ace king, king is folding here. So I'm trying to get rid of ace queen, ace jack, ace 10, ace nine, those type of holding. We don't want to run into an ace and not know where we at on the flop. So I, I'm finding myself taking the lower variance uh, here lately. So anyway, I shove all in and the uh, the caller from the mid position folded. So the flop came four king ace rainbow. The turn came a nine and the river came a 10 and we win the pot. So um, I don't know what the other players had. So I think it was a good shove on my part. More than likely somebody got an ace there. In the small blind, we look at king six off. I know, king six off. What am I doing in there? Well, small blind special, small blind special. So, um, seven way to the flop, and the flop came king six eight club club. We check under the gun bets 10, and there's three callers. So, I re raised to 40. We got two pairs here, so it's a pretty good spot to re raise. I re raised to 40 and two callers. Ten, uh, turn came four offsuit. I bet 150 and everyone folds. So if, if some, like I said, I'm, I'm, for some reason, I'm taking a lower variance and I like it. I like taking a lower variance. Uh, if, if somebody had like king nine or king eight, you know, and then we get a river of eight or a nine, you know, or maybe pair the board with like, if we, if the board paired with like, an eight if another eight comes out or another four comes out we're, we're dominated by king jack king queen ace king so i i think uh if they're willing to call with a top pair there or if somebody had an eight there you know if they're willing to call 150 i welcome them and the river come a eight i'll take the loss so anyway we bet 150 and everyone folds so i thought that was a pretty good play as well this next hand however this is a good hand. This is a tough spot. I was put in uh, a really, really tough spot here. So I started the hand with one, two. I started the hand with 600. A little bit, a little bit under 600, okay? And uh, Big Blind started the hand with about two something, 280, something like that. And player to my left started the hand with a little bit over two. A little bit 220 maybe okay so we look at ace king of diamonds and we are in the mid position so we open it to eight dollars player to my left calls uh he is a full-time player i can tell he's a full-time player a little younger you know probably about 25 26 so uh he's from vegas so i he's a full-time player he's also playing poker on his ipad while playing live poker ain't that something he calls eight dollars, and big blind re raised to twenty. I thought about re raising, but I just went ahead and float, and I think that was a mistake. I think the best uh, the best play here would be to re raise. I was thinking about making it sixty, and then player to my left calls. The flop came king two jack heart heart. It's a pretty good flop for us. Big blind once again bets twenty. We re raised it to eighty, and uh, player to my left goes all in for two hundred and something dollars. So. Um, tough spot for us. Absolutely tough spot. I felt like he was on a draw. I was thinking more like flush draw. And I was actually willing to call that after he shoves all in. So, uh, that's because if he had, if he had any kind of nuts there, you're talking about pocket kings, pocket jacks, he's, that's not a shove. He, he's not shoving there. You know, he's, he's going to try to shovel more money into that pot. 
So we're dominating hands like King Queen, King Ten. Pocket Aces would would have made itself known. So uh, Jack Deuce, I don't think he's calling with that. King Deuce, I don't think he's calling with that. King Jack, maybe, maybe. So. He shoves all in, big blind calls. Now we're in a tough spot. I think if big blind didn't call, I could have found a call, but it took me a minute and eventually I folded. Uh, tough fold, really tough fold, man. I folded and player to my left had open-ended and he hit his straight. So <laughs> I, I put him actually on a flush draw and the flush never got there and big blind had ace deuce can you believe that shoves all in for ace deuce or calls all in for ace deuce so he was calling uh, he was willing to call off all his chips for ace deuce i could see a shove with an ace deuce there you know bottom pair but calling the rest of your chips with ace i don't know let me know down below you think that was a good four bet pre-flop from the middle position i'll be out of position for sure I don't know what player left was gonna do. That's probably. I think that's why I just went ahead and floated. Let me know what you think, man. How was that a good fold or what? I thought it was a really good fold. Anyway, we lose that pot and he wins the pot. He made it straight, so that was, that was a good play by him. So we absolutely win this session. The vlog run good keeps on continuing, man. Oh my God! Book the win for plus two sixty seven. So. Vlog Run Good continues. So, we'll see you next session.